How's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in to Ask The Philosopher, where we talk about entertainment, money, love, and life. Today's topic is... 2011? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's where we at? That's where we at? I made my first million dollars in 2011. And I want to thank all of my supporters and fans and all over the world, 40 plus countries, whatever. You guys know my spill on that. Listen, 2011, class quiet 11. It's just all, all adding up now. And it's weird because 2011 is when I actually dropped class quiet one. But the way I'm rolling these class quiets out, they're, they'll never stop again. I am <laughs> class quiet, okay? Listen, I'm gonna tell you guys some details on how I was nominated for the other things because, you know, this is the final class quiet. So I was nominated for class short, obviously, because I'm not, you know, the tall, I wasn't the tallest person in my graduating class. Um, I actually wasn't the shortest either. So yeah, there you go. That's why I didn't win in class short. Listen, I was nominated class Brickhouse because, you know, I always had a fit prototype as body style or whatever. And some of the football players were like, man, how did he get it? How did he get nominated? And like, cause you know, obviously you would think it would be all football players nominated for class body. No, I was nominated for class body because, you know, not only was my body like fit, it actually looked good on me. So, you know, and it always has and always will, you know, you gotta you gotta keep that type of stuff in, you know, in the atmosphere. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So that's why I was nominated for class body because not only did I look good in my clothes, you know, uh, my physique. And it's crazy because back then I didn't even really watch what I ate, you know, Nowadays I do, but like I didn't watch what I ate back then. I still had a decent body, so I just think, you know, thank my parents for making me that, you know, for making me a good human being, and you know, and actually, you know, feeding me the right stuff that I needed to actually be nominated for class body. Now class best dress. I was nominated for class best dress and I should have 100% won. I lost to somebody who worked at a shoe store. That is, if that's not the cheat code, I swear. <laughs> lost to somebody who worked at a shoe store, man. <laughs> but I ain't mad at it. You know, everybody know I was the only one in there with designer. Stop playing with me. I mean, it was a couple of other people with designer, but like I, when I tell you like, I had, you know, everything from the Christian Dior back then in 2005, okay? Uh, everything from the, you know, the Burberries to the Gucci, man, Prada. I had it all, and that was in 2005, man. I was not playing with them. But y'all seen what I did. If you watched Class Quiet 1 really well, I told y'all what I did and how I actually made it through high school, you know, you know, making a lot of money and stuff like that. So with that being said, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Class Quiet series for now, okay? This is only Class Quiet 11, and I feel like Class Quiet, just like I'm saying on Class Quiet 2, everybody can relate to being Class Quiet at some point, whether you were in Class Quiet or you were just in a group and you are the quiet one. Being in class quiet doesn't always mean that you don't have anything to say. Sometimes that just means you know when to be quiet and listen more than talk. Being in class quiet means that you watch more than you put out. You know, it, it means that you actually think before you speak. Being class quiet means that you have potential to become the president of the United States. A lot of those ca candidates and people who won were actually quiet or know when to be quiet and or knew when to be quiet when it was their time to just be quiet. So if you 
is and were class quiet, don't ever think that it's a bad thing. Being class quiet means that you have potential to conquer the world. And I'll use myself as a prime example. Cue the outro. Remember this, I love you if nobody else has told you that today.